to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. We seek your presence now. We need you. We need you. We come with lifted hands. We come with open hearts. Sister Rosemary Kambe, born in Congo. Uh, last year I came from Tanzania to come here in Kenya. So I live in this community of ours in Katua as an oblate sister of the Assumption. Welcome, sister. Thank you, sister. Um, sister Cynthia Sabai, oblate sisters of the Assumption. I've just professed in August 27th this year. And I'm so proud to be an oblate. Thank you, sister. Uh, now, let us talk about a uh, small history of our congregation, uh, where we were found, our founders, and the country where we are. Welcome, sister. Thank you, sister. Yes. So, talking about the history of our congregation, we were founded in France on 24th of May, 1865. Our founder is Father Emmanuel Dalzon, and our co-foundress is Mother Marie Coranso. The purpose of these founders thinking of us was to help our brothers, the Augustinians of the Assumption, in the Bulgarian mission, because the brothers were already in the mission in the East, but there was no female presence, and the work was too much for them. That's why our founder thought of us, and that is how we came into existence. The first pillars of our congregation were five young girls from Mount Seven in France, and they were brought in the congregation. They started their formation under a rental house, because by that time the congregation was not having its own house. And this house, during the day for blessing and opening it, it was put under the patronage of Our Lady of Bulgaria because those girls were to be formed for the purpose of going to Bulgaria for their first mission. And at the end, five of them made their vows. And this Mother Marie Coranzo, who is our co-founder, was formed apart from the others. That's why she had to receive special formation so that she can have the knowledge of standing firm to make the congregation grow. In this congregation, we have several sisters from four continents in the world, and we are from 24 countries, country of Kenya being one of them. Our congregation has its charism, which talks about thy kingdom come, and we are called to work for the extension of God's kingdom to make sure that first this kingdom has grown in me and after it growing in me, I have to make sure that the fruits that I have gained from this kingdom which is in me, I give them to my sisters in the community. And mm -hmm. from there now, what we have gained as a community from this kingdom, we are called to go now around us to make sure that those whom we are meeting, whether they are Catholics or not, we make sure that we give them the fruits of this kingdom which is in us in me, among us, and around us, as our charism calls us. So, I am so happy and proud to belong to this congregation and to share with you this little about our congregation. Thank you, sister. Thank you very much, sister Cynthia. I, I want to add something about what you have said. I want to talk about the apostolates. We also have different apostolates where we spread the kingdom of God. And like here in Kenya, the way sister said, first of all, we came here in 2014. 
we came to implant our community here. And this community is a community for formation. We receive youngs from different areas here in Kenya, especially here in Nairobi, where we are. Some sisters are working at the parish, then Jiro. One sister work also at Assumption School, and one sister work at St. Thomas School. Myself, I do formation in the house. I, have the, I help the young one at least discover the life of our founders and also the history of the congregation. Myself, I'm very proud of being an oblate because since I joined the congregation, I am remain an oblate and I, love, I like the congregation. My congregation is the best congregation in my life. Thank you very much. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.